Ignition points. Totally baffling to anybody under 40 years old and kind of uh, sketchy to a lot of guys that are, that are older than that but never really got into the nuts and bolts of these things back in the day. So I'm going to give you a quick rundown on how they work. We're going to get into setting them up and tuning them in other installments, but I just wanted to do a quick video just explaining their basic function, how they work. So, okay, what I'm doing right now is exactly what a set of points does. The points are a simple on and off switch. And all they do is allow the circuit to be completed between your car's electrical system and the coil and ground. The uh, okay, wait. Let's start. Let's start with the basics. Let's start with the really simple basics. Okay, so here's a basic distributor. Okay, so inside the distributor, the first thing you find right here is this cam. Okay, now this cam, each one of these lobes represents one of the cylinders in the engine. So you could follow them along. You know, one eight four three six five seven two. This is an eight-cylinder distributor. As this thing spins, each of these lobes comes in contact with the rubbing block right there, can you see that? Rub and block on the points. And essentially, it's doing this. When the points are closed, the circuit to the coil is completed. That's your dwell period. Dwell is when the points are closed and it's measured in, de in degrees of rotation. Then when the points open and that circuit is broken, the magnetic field built up inside the coil collapses and generates the, the, the voltage that is your spark. So, in contrary to popular belief, points do not create the spark. The spark is created by the coil. It doesn't make any difference what you're triggering the coil with. So, electronic ignitions use transistors and, and, and voodoo to operate the on-off switch, where this is just a simple analog version of that. You can run a CDI unit off of points. You can run an MSD unit off of points. The, there's, there is no functional difference in, on the coil side of the system between running points or electronic ignition. Manufacturers got away from points because they need maintenance. Every eight to 10,000 miles, they need to be cleaned, they need to be gapped. Uh, the rubbing block will start to wear, so they need to be lubricated. And what was happening was you get cars out there that were a year or two old and they'd run like shit because people didn't bother with the maintenance. So going to electronic ignition, that fixed that. HEI was the next step, but HEI wasn't a performance thing. HEI was brought about because mixtures were getting leaner and leaner in order to meet emission controls and, and, and fuel mileage. So the spark plug gaps kept getting bigger and bigger. And in order to keep that spark from being blown out, they needed, that's where the HEI came from. But I have back-to-back -back these Chryslers, I have back-to-back -back points and electronic ignitions and you know elect electronic distributors using the same everything else and there is zero difference no measurable difference in either you know a quarter mile performance or gas mileage or anything like that a properly set gap set of points is just as effective as any electronic ignition in fact we use these in top fuel up until like when i quit in like 98 and a few years after that into the early 2000s those magnetos had single points sitting on top of them and that's how they would generate the spark why? Because there was nothing on earth as reliable as a set of points. So, at any rate, I wanted to do a quick demonstration for you guys just to show you how simple and effective these things are. So, this is a Slant 6 distributor and it's all set up. It's got the points gapped. Uh, it's all ready to go. And this vise is going to represent your engine block. Okay. And this drill is going to represent the rest of your engine. This battery is your car's electrical system. So, the vise, your engine block becomes the ground. And here's our coil, and we're just going to complete the circuit to the coil like this. And then ground, let me see, there should be a nut here someplace. Where's the nut? We'll do it without a nut. We'll just, oh, she's live already. Okay. So, a simpler circuit does not exist. This is the entirety of a points ignition system.
So that represented approximately 1,300 RPM or just off of idle, which gives you an idea how quickly this stuff happens. But that's it. So in the next installment, what we're going to do is show you how to gap, tune, maintain these things, and the differences between the Ford, Chrysler, and General Motors style of, of, uh, of points. So uh, until then, I'm just going to screw around with this some more because it's, it's cool. So I'll talk to you later. See you tomorrow.